Hello and welcome to Ecolix. In this video, we will discuss the difficulty number three. The student of economics face several difficulties. So I have discussed two in the previous video. So if you haven't watched that video, go back after this video and watch those. Now this third difficulty, which is sometimes people ignore, sometimes people don't know what exactly the problem is. And that is the difficulty that we are going to discuss in this video, plus the solution of that. Now, whenever you're studying economics, you generally feel that you're just reading that text. And that is where counterintuitive ideas, that's the most difficult problem a student face. They don't get ideas. They are not able to correlate things. They're not able to understand one concept, how it is related to another one, how one thing is affecting the other thing. Very simple example if we take, we know that as prices goes up, demand for that particular product comes down. Simple. If a product, if a price of tomato goes up, people buy less tomato. But sometimes in certain cases, it happens reverse. It means when price goes up, people buy more. You see luxury goods, jitna mehenga ghadi, jitni mehenga purse, people will buy because of exclusivity. So there are certain laws in economics that actually violate the laws of economics. If you see laws of economics and laws of like nature. So what is laws of nature? Like law of gravitational force. If you fall from the building in Delhi or you will fall from a building in New York, you will fall at the same rate. But in economics, it doesn't happen every time. It sometimes go reverse. And that is where counterintuitive ideas comes in. Now, before we move on to this video, you have to understand intuitiveness. And what is that intuitiveness? Intuitiveness means the one that certainly feels. For example, when there's a red signal, what is in your mind is to stop. But when you see the green light on a traffic signal, what you do is you move on. Now, what is counterintuitive? If in the red light you move on and when you see green light, you stop. That is counterintuitive. So in economics, this happens several times when the concept suddenly goes reverse. And that is where your intelligence comes in. Okay, let's see what are the solution to this counterintuitive problem. These are the three solutions I have given in this video. One is active learning. What people do is people just read. People open the book and they read. And that is what I call is reading, not learning. What is learning? When you try to grasp that concept, when you try to read line by line, word by word, people think that I will finish this book in seven days. I will finish this book in a month. And they say, I have finished reading microeconomics. I have finished reading macroeconomics. What is the most important thing to understand is that nothing can be finished. Economics art se nahi. There has been several years that economics has been running. So the most important thing is to understand that you have to learn word by word, line by line. If you violate this, you will struggle in this subject. For example, second problem, second solution, we'll see real world examples. If we see a central bank of a country, so we are living in India, we talk about India, Reserve Bank of India. Now, Reserve Bank of India has a responsibility in the economy. What is the responsibility? Is to trade off always between inflation and growth rate. Maintaining growth rate as well while curtailing inflation. That's the major aim of Reserve Bank of India by using various monetary policy tools. So what they exactly do is they meet every two months in India. Monetary policy committee decides on repo rate. Everyone knows this is a very simple concept. Repo rate is a rate where banks borrow money from RBI. So whenever banks need money, they borrow from RBI. On that particular rate is known as repo rate. Now RBI decides that repo rate. The reason is very simple. When bank will borrow money from RBI and normal person like all the citizen, resident, they will buy money from bank. So that affects their home loan, car loan, everything. RBI maintains that repo rate on the basis of certain data. One of the data that RBI uses is inflation. Now, let me tell you one simple thing. If I say inflation, okay, tell me in the comment section, pause the video, tell me in the comment section. 
if inflation will go up inflation rate goes up it means the things available in the market they are become dearer costly what will happen to the repo rate tell me will it go up or will it go down pause the video write in the comment section so repo rate will go up because cheez hai mehangi ho rahi demand increasing it means the money supply in the economy is high people are demanding more thing that's why prices of things are going up so rbi got rbi will do rbi will increase the repo rate to curtail that extra money supply what will happen to the bank loan so banks loan that rate will also go up that rate will go also go up. then what will happen to the demand of loan now tell me in the comment section when loan rate goes up what will happen to the loan demand loan demand will go down then when the loan demand will go down what will happen to the investment investment will go up or go down investment will go down why because the cost of borrowing goes up what is cost of borrowing my interest rate if suppose we take an example of home loan bank's loan go went up loan demand come down because previously the loan rate was on a lower side now after increasing the inflation repo rate and everything home loan suppose moves from 9% to 10% so loan ki demand come down then investment people will buy less homes or people will wait for the interest rate to come down then they will buy investment goes down and when investment goes down you know everything goes down gdp employment and everything and this is how rbi controls inflation so this is very real world example are given that is active learning with real world third point is question and explore now this is very very important if you see a small kid they question a lot because everything is new for them but as we become adult we stop questioning we always think ke ye cheez jaisi hoti aa rahi hai waisi ho rahi hai so we understand ke ye to aisa hi hota hai so we accept that we do not question as you become older you stop questioning things but as an economist as a student of economics you have to start asking questions all the time questions to the economy questions to the government questions to the institutions etc question and explore if suppose you do not ask question you will not understand the concept you will take everything as a status quo aisa hota hai to aisa hoga imagine that in 1929 american economy gripped with great depression jb say and major classical economists said supply creates its own demand it means whatever you will produce it will be sold automatically can you imagine this concept in 2024 if suppose i am producing that beautiful nokia button wala phone nokia 1100 everyone has seen that if not you can ask your parents or your elder siblings nokia 1100 beautiful button wala phone at a cheaper price suppose 500 to 1000 and that you will feel in that screen button and everything is premium if i produce that in terms of lakhs of quantities and flood into the market do you think that it will automatically be sold the answer is no because the classical says supply creates its own demand failed during great depression and that has been questioned by john menard keynes keynes questioned his own teachers about those concepts so he questioned and then he explored and in 1936 the general theory of employment interest and money he published in that he was questioning all the classical economists and their laws so if suppose he would have not questioned them we wouldn't be able to understand that demand actually creates its own supply although in 1970s that has changed and a lot of things happened after milton friedman and robert lucas and other other things but if you see the two major schools of economics 
that you have to understand so you don't have to learn everything mug up everything but you have to understand the simple ideology simple objective of a certain theory so i hope you enjoy this video in the next two videos we'll understand two more difficulties if you haven't watched the previous two go watch and you will get a insight i hope you like this video if you want to have a one to one consultation with me i've given my whatsapp number in the description thank you so much and don't forget to subscribe e-commerce